Uh, I do. I do blame you for my lifelong love of Pantera because of that. Uh, that episode alone. Um, what, what about your- the Pantera? I think out of any band, Pantera is the one that people have told me, like, "Dude, you turned me on to Pantera," and I. It's flattering, even though I don't believe that I deserve that because MTV picked the videos. Mm-hmm. And but people's a lot of times people's very first exposure to Pantera was through me. Mm-hmm. I was just doing what they told me to do. But when we went to go see Skid Row in Fayetteville, North Carolina, and Pantera was opening up for Skid Row, I was like, oh. I'm all about this band. This band is great. And I knew it. And I knew from talking to them and we had so much fun. And I remember, you know, hanging out with those guys and and talking to Phil about Mike Tyson and just everything. And I was just like, Oh, this is like, like, that's a rock band. That's just like a, a rock. Every, everything about them is a rock band. You know, nobody treated the fans better. And uh, you know, when people say like, you turned me on to Pantera, I was like, well, I don't, believe i deserve the credit but i hear it all the time and that's really flattering yeah it was the the uh, the, the i think it was like the week before far beyond driven came out and <clears throat> like i've told many people i mean i would i would tape headbangers ball and watch it all week and then by the end of the week i was i had seen pantera every day and i was like i love these guys i'm gonna go buy this album now and you know here i am 25 years later yeah you know what i'm curious about <clears throat> i'm curious if there are any people under 40 complaining about this Pantera tribute band because I wonder if everybody complaining about Zach and Charlie taking out Pantera are people that saw the original Pantera. I used to say, okay, should it have happened a long time ago? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I was always, and I was even saying Pantera needs to get back together and play and have Zach play guitar. I mean, we always said, well, if anybody's going to, nobody's going to be like mine. But everybody in the world said, if it was going to be somebody, nobody said, oh, maybe it should be this person. Everybody thinks it should have been Zach. There is no doubt in my mind. And I always said, and I might have even said it on your show a couple of years back. <laughs> the thing that I always felt bad is that kids never got to see Pantera in their prime. Yeah. Because Pantera is, was great, just so great. And I always feel bad that these kids that are metal fans never got to see Pantera. Are they going to see Pantera? No, they're not. They're not going to see Pantera. They're going to see Pantera's music performed by more than capable musicians. It doesn't have the Abbott brothers and they are Pantera. Mm-hmm. You still got Phil, you still got Rex, you got Zach and Charlie. I mean, it's going to be great. Um, is Phil 2023 going to sound like Phil 1993? Probably not. Mm-hmm. Do I want to see that show? Absolutely. I want to see that show. You know, I, it's just, yes, they should have done it a long time ago, but they didn't. It sucks. They didn't. Right. Do I think it's a money grab. No, I don't think it's a money grab. I really don't think Charlie or Zach are hurting for money. And Phil probably doesn't have a lot of money, but I, I I'm excited about it. And to know that that show's opening up for Metallica. It's right. like, Wow. 